market. So they pay their bill. Problem solved. Matching <laughs> forward. I must say, this time around, state agencies have been very good. Mm. State agencies have been very, very good. Mm. With the exception of a few. And those few will get to that bridge mm. because they'll be seen as but uh, most, 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 most have been, mm. have been, have been on top of their game. So five point six billion—that's what is over. Seven. Five point seven billion. Hey, Maria Matsu Five point seven billion. What's the plan? How, how are you going to get it? Look, first of all, who who owes this money? A chunk of it is in industries. A chunk of it is industry, Ghanaian industries. Private. Private. Public. Private, when I when we talk about state SOEs, those are the ones I'm saying have been doing very well this mm. time around. Mm. I'm talking about private. A chunk of it is in private, and then the other side is in residential. Mm. But the whole thing is this. Let me take you a few steps back. It's been had a few issues. Solving those issues as quickly as possible have been a challenge due to financial constraints. But you cannot continue sitting down when you're owed 5.7 billion, which is equivalent of about almost $500 million. And you keep singing, we don't have, we don't have, we don't have. When are you waiting to have if you don't get up and go out there to go and collect it? Why did you wait for it to get to 5.7? You, we didn't intend to wait for it to get to 5.7. As I said, there were a few challenges in the system. But, and it's also the fact that some people do not prioritize the payment of electricity bills. For example, when it comes to taxes, you know the law that backs the tax. In our neighboring country, uh, what do you call it? Ivory Coast. Illegal connections is a criminal offense. You're jailed. When you don't pay your bill, it's a criminal offense. You're jailed. But in Ghana, we all know what the, the issue is. So it's a, it's a thing where we don't prioritize it. We ECG was also hoping that everybody would be an honest citizen just like what the prepaid customers are doing mm. and then also what settle their bills but look if you take 10 ecg customers five will be prepaid five will be postpaid out of the five postpaid three of them are paying two are not hmm. when you take the prepaid all are paying but three of them are doing illegal connections Unbelievable. You understand? And it's all because of the new digitization drive that we've been on mm. since I became MD. But it has allowed us to have a trend analysis, see what to expect from the company, when, how. And actually, believe you me, this company is, is big. Mm. It's, it's a huge, it's a huge. Let me ask you this. If you go to some parts of the country, even parts of the capital, there are entire communities where, I mean, <laughs> the whole thing is set up on illegal connections. It seems to me that it's not very difficult for someone to set up an illegal connection and steal power from ECG. Why is it so easy? It's, it's, it's so easy because it's attitude. I'm even talking physically. Like, and why that's is what I'm telling you. It's, it's, so, it's, an easy it's, thing it's to do. attitude because everybody feels nobody is punished for it. So everybody feels it's easy. You do it once, nobody says anything. You do it again, you're fine. You do it the fourth time, you're fine. Now actually people look for you to do it for them. Imagine that. So until, until you're well equipped to go out there, ask the necessary questions, let them let you know who has done what, how and when, it's very difficult because as you're speaking now, some of the low voltage situations, power cuts you've been having, it's not because of shortage in power. Yes, as a system, Gridco may have a challenge, uh, ECG may have a challenge, but we do have what we call planned outages. During the Christmas period, what we realized was most of the transformers are overloaded. It's overloaded two reasons. One, somebody has added more people to the transformer with zero notice to ECG. But as soon as the power is fluctuating, everybody blames what? ECG. Two, the taste of the people within the area has gone up. So the kind of gadgets that they've bought now with no recourse to the distributor, when everybody is home and they all start drawing, what then happens? Voltage goes low, 
the whole thing goes off. So uh, we need money to fix this, to give you that kind of quality service, have excess meters in the system so everybody can have access to all of these things. Our problems are solvable. They are all capital intensive and we cannot sit down and say we are not going to collect. Also, don't forget we have power purchase agreements that we need to settle. Mm. So the, the, it has, we've gotten to the point where nobody is coming to save us. How much of these problems are caused by internal sabotage, ECG staff? You know, in fairness, I would choose not to blame the ECG staff because if you have everything you need to do your job, the, nobody would look at you as uh, not being efficient. The question we need to ask is, does the ECG staff have everything they need to carry out their duties? That is the main... It's very easy to point fingers at someone. It's very easy to say, oh, this guy doesn't like me, so he's doing this. This one has done that to mess this up. But, you know, when you, when you decide to work with people or you decide to go on a journey with people, it's about how you galvanize the base, bring everybody together for them to know what the dream is. In the case of ECG, engineering, we are doing great. Look, the beautiful thing is that when we have problems, everybody sees the power up. Oh, we have light off here, but the guys on the other face have lights. So they know it's not a generation issue. You understand? But it's a service delivery. And you can only deliver quality service when you are have the necessary capital investment around you. Everybody has these huge expectations. Yes, we will do our best to close the gap as quickly as possible. But the average customer must also think in the reverse. Is this to say that there aren't internal collaborators sometimes? Now, every institution has its own problems that it manages at every given point in time. If I sit down and say ECG doesn't have its own issues or internal issues, I'll be lying. But the problem is that whether we all like it or not, we are owed 5.7 billion. How do we all come together to go and collect this money? After we collect the money, we can go back to our fighting. Or we can go back to having our, our family squabbles. But at the end of the day, it's like having a younger brother and seeing someone beating him. You know, even... You don't even care whether you have a problem with him or not. But you know, sometimes we're, we're, we're also concerned about how much your own people are contributing to these debts. I guess that's why we're interested mm. in asking what you're doing to, okay. to the people from within. So you see, when you are tasked with something as big as ECG, and you decide to live in the past, you start going on a witch hunt. Then when you start going on a witch hunt, you start delving deep. Then you forget about the price that was given to you and where you were supposed to go. So you are now acting in the reverse. It has happened. What do you do? Put yourself together. Think about what next or how to move the company next, where to next. Galvanize the base. Don't worry. It will take time, but everybody will join. But right now, gradually, gradually, we are beginning to get a very robust digital billing system that we can rely on. And with that in place, that's the sale aspect of your business. When your sales aspect, you can actually close certain loopholes on your sales. You should be able to look forward on other stuff that are more technical that would lead to customer satisfaction. Mm -hmm. Because look at the, beautiful, the beauty now. When you use our new app, I don't know if you've, if you've attempted to use the app now. Mm -hmm. It's easy, customer mm -hmm. friendly. We have a new... Uh, what you call ussd code star 226 hash which gives you the offline version it's about being customer sensitive so that when it's time for you to ask for your pound of flesh from the customer they do not have an excuse one of the areas that ecg has been commended for is their customer interface they have a call center that keeps getting plaudits for giving great service and uh, you know it, it's hard to give good service and when it comes to a, you know a situation like electricity because people get very emotional when their lights go off so i think it is right that your company gets the applause for that thank you the the thing we want to make sure of is that we never end up here again
We never end up in a situation where you have 5.7 billion debt that you have to go and collect. And that's why, you know, especially those of us on this show before you came, we were very interested in the architecture of, of you know, your operation and how we can ensure that once this debt is collected, it we don't end up here again. Up. You talked about how you, you, your transformers, you know, are overloaded because people just add on without notifying ECG. Is it just members of the public, random people who go along to a transformer and add you, on? You know, there are electricians around the country. People are building homes. Mm -hmm. They need, let's say, a welder or something to do something in the house. He doesn't have the patience to go to ECG mm -hmm. to get the right thing done. Then, so people have mastered the art of tapping into our network. Just random people. Random. Random electricians. And all of these lead to all of these problems that we are talking about. Hmm. Sometimes you may even be driving. You see a funeral going on. You go and check the power source. It's from the pole. Hmm. From the pole. That's what I meant when I said it seems very easy to do mm -hmm. this. I mean, I don't think I can go along in, the, say, in the UK and just hook up my equipment to a pool and start, you know. So the whole off. thing come, the whole thing boils down to policy, directive, and agreement within the whole sector mm. that this is where we want to go. And if we agree that this is where we want to go, we can all achieve it together. You understand? See, you talk about. If every single person acknowledged the fact that, look, uh, ECG has 2.5 million postpaid customers and 800 meter readers. <laughs> what? 800 meter readers. Yeah. For 2.5 million meters. Yeah. For 2.5 million meters. Yes. So now clearly you know the business model is what? Wrong. So why don't you just hire more? So where do you pay them? Or change the meters. <laughs> where do you pay them from? You have to, you have to, the, it has to be a carrot and a stick. So you have to find a way to balance. The, it, there should be a balancing act. There should be a way to see if you can, look, don't get me wrong. Postpaid meters are not bad. If you have the right processes of reading them and making sure that the bills are churned out constantly and the people are followed up to pay, believe you me, it's a good system to have. But the point now is to be able to make the system efficient, what do you do? You need, to, you need money to invest. So that's where we are now as a company, where we feel, no, this cannot go on any longer. Administrative staff that are in the office, you know what? Let's join all the districts and the regions. Me, for one, sometimes I go to work. Before you sit down and go through paperwork, the number of people that have come in and out of your office, Sometimes before it's even 11 o'clock, you might have seen over 20 people. Hmm. So now we're all out. Today I'm doing media. Second half of the day, I'm out there with the teams. Reading so, meters. Hey, and bills. Look, you've received a bill before. Mm -hmm. If we haven't read your meter, you're enshrined to pay what your last bill was. Keep paying it. It's even good for you. Keep paying it until finally your meter is what? Read. And then the, there's the what, reconciliation. Mm -hmm. And then you start moving from there. Mm. But some people, they haven't come, so no. But in, even in the case of the SLTs, when I say SLTs, I mean uh, special low tariff customers. That's industry. Mm. We have what we call the AMR. They have their meter. They have people assigned to their meters in their company. We are able to read their meters remotely from our place, yeah. our office. Mm -hmm. So what's the excuse? In your budget for the year, you put the electricity as part. I'm sure your business does. Mm -hmm. It's a cost. Mm. But where most people have that, but ECG never receives the money. Then later, when after it's piled up over a period of time, you come with a payment plan. Huh. All because it belongs to the government. Attitudinal change has to start now. When it was PDS, I'm sure everybody realized, oh, the matter has changed. It's a private institution now. So when they go back, they start talking about how PDS was doing good with what? Revenue. It's because of our mindset. Hmm. What changed after that? Why do people stop paying? We, we, we talk about fixing problems. We always talk about fixing problems. But when you ask the average Ghanaian, what are you trying to do in your corner to fix the problem? Then you start hearing excuses. Oh, my, this, 
my child that I had to do this. I'm paying school fees. Mm. But the thing, you've consumed it. How much yeah. of the 5.7 are you hoping that you can get? 100%. 100%. Yes. <laughs> I love the attitude. Could you, th there are some questions here. Okay. Um, if you don't mind, mm -hmm. uh, for, for our guest. Uh, this one says, over three months ago, my prepaid meter got bent. I had 1,000 CDs on the meter's card. The meter was replaced, but I never got a refund of my unused 1,000 CDs on the card. And it wasn't ref uh, transferred to the new meter either. I've been chasing this forever. How do they handle such stuff? They owe customers as well. Two more uh, before you come in, sir. This one says... Uh, kindly ask the MD why ECG meters are so expensive. I think it should be reduced to cut the fraud. And this one says, please ask him if I'm liable for someone's debt. I rented my office space in Kumasi, applied and got my own prepaid. An old tenant who had left a year and a half ago was indebted to ECG. His meter was taken by ECG and now his bill has been pushed to my prepaid. Mm. There's one here. Kojo, good morning. Uh, through no fault of mine, my meter reading is off for the meter screen is off yet i have power and i've reported to ecg's office near me but to no avail i've been there four times they keep telling me they will come but they're not coming so i guess a few meter issues there yeah the the one that had uh, the very first one was mm -hmm. the one that had uh, the meter bends but had some mm. money on it mm. it yeah, wasn't with transferred with that one she just he or she needs to get in touch with the customer service center because uh, I know we've, we've tried to solve a few of those and they keep coming up. We call them the reversals and then the re recredits. So the person needs to get in touch. Um, but she says that she's been chasing this forever. So if you've been going to the same points and you're not getting the issue resolved, where do you the, go it, to next? She should try. She should try using the app online to address that issue. Okay. Mm -hmm. it'll be, it'll be, so we, ha we now have a revenue assurance team whose job includes this right so we are going to look at those things as they come up so with what all the necessary stuff that she has mm. she should just get it to through the app it will hit the revenue assurance desk mm. and then we can tackle that as quickly as possible right so all those with those kind of problems now should just try and have that thing sorted out through the app with their necessary receipts and to receive the necessary attention immediately all right okay and Any the others? others? Yeah, there was one about uh, how expensive the meters are. See, that was the one I was looking for. ECG meters are cheap. The prices allocated to ECG meters by PURC, I think single phase is about uh, a thousand CDs or something. And then uh, three phases are uh, almost about a thousand five or something like that. Look. The prices you pay out there through the middlemen, it's not, it's, it's the full cost of the meter. But ECG is supposed to give you a service connection. The meter is not supposed to be sold. We recoup the purchase, the meter price over a longer period of time. But these middlemen sit in between, take these exorbitant fees from you guys, creates the impression that you've bought the meter. But the meter says property of electricity company of Ghana, not to be sold. <laughs> you know, there was a complaint this morning that the meters are not even available in some of the places. Yes. As I said, these are all capital intensive investments. We are owed, we are collecting to make sure we give a better service. We've sat down with a few meter companies and come up with a new strategy. And all these meter companies are companies that manufacture locally. They are going to, we started with uh, Accra East through the Legon region where some meters have been made available to satisfy the new customer requests and then also faulty meters. I must entreat everybody who we haven't gotten to yet or things have been dormant for a while to please be patient. All right, so that was the last one. I guess this person uh, must be listening on Love FM in Kumasi. He's in inherited debts, essentially. Is that possible? Yes, you can inherit debts because meters are location specific. They are not, they are not, yeah, what do you call it? They, they cannot migrate. But you also get stories where I bought the meter. So I'm moving to another house. I'm taking my meter. No. The meter is assigned to the home, the house, or the business. So those doing that is also illegal. But in this case, I think K 
care has to be taken by so we just need to get the details so we can address it and then find a way through it look this whole process if you if we are able to even deal with customers and have better details your debts should be able to follow you mm. that should be where we should be heading to and with the new digital age that should be what should happen Mm. People go here, they rack a bill, they run away here to start afresh. And then you're left with the landlord. Because it's the landlord's name mm. that's on the meter. Mm. But if at, a, if at any single point in time, if we were following the law as prescribed in the ECG, when you have a tenant, the tenant is supposed to also register with us. Mm. We should have that detail so we can tag that meter to the tenant. Mm. So that when the tenant is not performing his duties, we don't come after the landlord and say, mm. hey, Mr. Landlord, you are the one who owes. So, and as much as the owners is on ECG, we'll do our best to fix such a problem. But I'll tell all landlords out there to do their best to let us have those registrations of those tenants so we can, we can manage these problems and let the debt follow the tenants. Right. So what form is this exercise going to take? What specifically are you going to be doing on the ground? First things first that I need to put out there is that no ECG staff, I repeat, no ECG staff is mandated to collect cash. This is a cashless exercise because of the new platform that we have. They are well equipped to generate a paying slip for you to go to the nearest bank and pay. They are well equipped to generate your payment all the way for you to receive a notification to pay by Momo. Vodafone cash, whatever. If you want to pay by bank card, they are well equipped to give you that option. No ECG staff is to collect cash. We've had rumors of people calling people and telling them, look, ECG has a company has suffered. People have registered Momo numbers under the name ECG cash mm -hmm. payment point mm -hmm. and <laughs> taking money from mm -hmm. unsuspecting what? Ghanaians. Mm -hmm. Please, if it is not an approved ECG collection point. We also know people will try to take advantage of this exercise. So the dial star 226 hash, follow the prompts and verify the ECG staff who came or who has come to your house. Give us that short code again, please. Star 226 hash. And that will help you verify the identity of the ECG staff, staff that has come to the house for the exercise if okay. you are in doubt okay truth be told there are going to be a lot of disconnections I know because I have a feeling some people may try to leverage on one thing or the other my plea out there is please let's stop these phone calls to places or to people to try and intervene. Because this time around, my fear is that it may end up looking like somebody is being recalcitrant or somebody doesn't respect. But please, you know what you have done. You know you have consumed. Let's not do this to our own company. It's very easy to drop the ball at the doorstep of the ECG staff or the ECG team. But 5.7 billion Ghana cities, come on. So basically the message is, if you think you can call someone to bail you out, not this time. That phone call should rather be asking that person to give you a loan to go and pay. I think that would be better than to think that that person can leverage. That's, that's a nice note to end our conversation <laughs> on. <laughs> Um, I think everybody is encouraged by the determination, the dogged determination that uh, you and your team are uh, applying to this exercise. It affects us all if you succeed. So we certainly want to help you succeed. But we also hope that you will take advantage of every opportunity to make your operations more efficient exactly. so that uh, we have a better uh, electricity uh, company. Mr. Dubik Mahama, what a pleasure. Uh, we're glad you finally made it. We want to have you uh, come back as often as possible. Ghana month, Ghana month. Yes. Ghana. And uh, of course, before you leave, how, how many Ghanaian languages do you speak? Well, that's a good one. I speak, uh, I think, about 
two or three. Okay. I speak my local dialect, which is the Bimoba language mm -hmm. from uh, Northeast region. Mm -hmm. I speak Chi, I mm -hmm. speak Ga, mm -hmm. Hausa. Mm -hmm. And I think, for, because I speak Chi, I can say I have a working knowledge of Fanti. Fanti as well. <laughs> yeah, you know. Yes, yes. Yeah. So that's four so, and a so, half. Yeah. So, so, so maybe in, in, in your favorite of those four and a half languages, mm -hmm. if you want to appeal to Ghanaians, it's Ghana month, right? Yeah. So we want you to use your local language to appeal to Ghanaians to pay their bills and uh, participate in, the, in this exercise. Wow, I think I did uh, Chi speaking this this morning. Mm -hmm. So I think I'll tr probably, because ECG is on the southern side, I'll do Ga. Okay. 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 Can you wow when you wow? Oh, fine, why? You are done. Let that sink in. How do you say let that sink in again? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Samuel Dubik Mahaba, thank you so much uh, for spending your morning with us. All the very best uh, to you and your team with this exercise.